Um, I'm Cameron Lauder and I'm an addict and an alcoholic. I'm also 28, an Army veteran, and a proud enrolled member of the White Area Nation of the Minnesota Chippewa Tribe, or what many refer to as the Ojibwe. I'm adopted by parents who I hope are proud of me. <laughs> They're sitting right there. Um, hope and John Lauder. Uh, my life was not easy. I grew up in an alcoholic home. My parents were not perfect, but if you find ones that are, please come find me and tell me so I can shake their hand. Um, in elementary and high school, um, I was told I was different. I was weird. I was the only native in high school. Um, I was told by a teacher I would not amount to anything. Um, I was bullied in high school to the point I saw class not as a place of learning, but of safety. I was surviving, but I was unable to thrive. I wanted to be something, so I joined the military. I found a way to escape through alcohol. I had many troubles with drink, and it led me first down a, down a path of shame resentment and all content. I could not hold a job. Uh, deployed in the year of 2015, my platoon sergeant was very aware of my struggles with alcohol. Um, he said words that I did not understand at the time. I believe in you, Lauder. Believe in me? Why? I have nothing inside me to believe in. Um, you must be blind. You must want for something for me. Yeah, that must be it. Um, it stuck with me, though. Some, someone believes in me. I began searching for the why. I began to notice I was good at things. I was likable. I found new virtues in myself in which I was honest. I had the capacity to be a human being again. With simple words, my platoon sergeant gave me a new perspective, and this new perspective, he gave me hope. Hope in a new future, a new man, and a new life. Um, this gave me a new purpose and a willingness to forgive, to sacrifice for others, to serve for others, and to think of selfless and others more. I met a man named Avi Sabri who welcomed me into a program called TRIO. He saw my anxiety and panic during the regular school year. He heard my doubts. He may have seen a couple tears. With kind words, he gave me confidence and belief in myself to where I graduated from South Central College with a 3.88 GPA. My final day at South Central College, he shook my hand and said, uh, <clears throat> oh, Cameron, I believe in you. I was anxious about coming to Minnesota State Bank, you know. Um, Avi Sabri called uh, Dr. Andy Lassiter. The department chair of psychology department, and she drove down and missed her busy schedule to help me select classes for my first semester year here at MSU. Um, the love and care she gave me that day showed me I was welcomed here. It was unbelievable. The Andreas American Indian Student Scholarship, I did not just see money. I saw a man offering his hand to me and saying, Cameron, I believe in you so much, I'm going to invest resources into you so you can have the ability to chase your dreams. People like David Andreas, the faculty and staff at Minnesota State Medicaid have all shown me in short time they believe in students. They all invest time, effort, and belief in students and make a welcome environment to individuals like myself. Every one of them goes above and beyond and I'm here because of those four words, four words that saved my life. I believe in you. I'm humbled to be here and I'm privileged to be here. Thank you.